Hey mamas, do you believe me when I say that pain and labor can be good for you and your baby? I'm almost positive that all of you watching this video and preparing for birth are wrestling with what birth and the sensations that accompany it will feel like and how it will affect your ability to bring your baby from womb to world. In our day of modern medicine, a lot of women find themselves asking why they would even want to experience the intensity of labor when they have options to avoid these uncomfortable sensations. So to mamas grappling with that question or racking their brains right now over my first statement about how pain during labor could possibly good, we are going to be taking a different look at pain in labor and how it can actually be beneficial right now in this video. I'm Bridget and I'm a birth doula in the San Francisco Bay Area and I love helping moms love their birth. To keep learning more about how you can love your birth and feel empowered by it, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and have hit the little bell next to it so you're always notified when a new video comes out. Mamas, I am here to help you make empowering decisions for your birth experience, and if there's one thing I want you to walk away with, it's that your body was built to give birth, and that you can trust yourself, your baby, and in this age-old process of birth. When I work with mamas to help them trust in those things, they are ready to take on birth and its challenges, and to feel empowered and in awe of their abilities through their birth experience. Now, one of the big parts about birth and the one that mamas tend to be most afraid of is pain. And pain does play a big part in labor, but probably not in most of the ways that you think it does. You see, there are a couple ways to approach pain and labor, and one way is to be afraid of it, which is a fairly common reaction, but can definitely have a negative impact. If you haven't already watched my video on how fear impacts labor, you definitely should check it out after this video, and I'll even link it right up here for you to watch. And when you go down this road, a lot of the fear is going to be taken out of the picture because you know the reason for it. So let's dive into what those intense sensations are during labor using the word pain as our mnemonic. So the first letter P stands for purposeful, and those intense waves of contractions that you're feeling tell you that something is happening. And without those sensations, one, you wouldn't even know that you were in labor in the first place. The second thing is you wouldn't be able to respond to your body's changing needs throughout the birthing process. And three, your body wouldn't be producing all those amazing hormones that can actually bring comfort into labor and help you progress through labor. Now, if you don't know what amazing hormonal work is happening throughout birth, you need to check out this video that I'm linking right up here. Now, those contractions that start off pretty mild start to wake up your brain to tune into your body more and more as those contractions grow more fierce. And what happens when you tune into your body? I'll tell you, you're able to move, you're able to breathe and groan and ultimately just respond more instinctively and purposefully as you welcome those heightening sensations because you know the purpose of them. Those sensations help you know, okay, this isn't just another run of the mill day. This is the day I'm gonna meet my baby. And because of this, I need to respond to my body. I need to do X, Y, Z. And these sensations help you know what to do and when to do it. They serve a very important purpose, and the ultimate purpose is to meet your baby. So that's letter P, and that stands for purposeful. So the second letter is A, which stands for anticipated, which can be looked at from two perspectives. So from the time you found out you were pregnant, you have been anticipating labor to come, which means you've had nine months to prepare your mind and your body for this extraordinary experience. And mama, the more you're able to equip yourself with knowledge and preparation, the more empowered you are to experience a birth that you feel in control of, safe in, and proud of. Now, the second way to look at the pain of labor being anticipated is during labor. And those sur surges that start off mild actually allow you to mentally and physically prepare for the journey that you're about to take. And in a non-medicated birth, those contractions follow the rhythm of your hormones. And yes, birth can sometimes be fast, but normally the birth process gives you enough time to anticipate the changes that are happening now and are going to continue to happen until your baby is born. So letter A stands for anticipated. So now we're on to letter I, which stands for intermittent. And a lot of women have this misconception that every moment of labor is taken up by these extreme contractions when in reality, in normal unmedicated birth, the longest contractions that you're going to experience are roughly about 90 seconds long, and that's not until the end of labor. 
So at the beginning stages, your contractions are about 45 seconds long with approximately 15 minutes in between them, giving or taking depending on the labor. Then as labor becomes more established, those surges are gonna turn into one minute long and five minutes apart and then four minutes apart and so on and so forth. But do you notice those breaks of time? Every contraction ends, and between them, you actually get to rest and relax. Now, I keep saying in an unmedicated labor because sometimes with an induction, contractions aren't always intermittent. In fact, a lot of times with a Pitocin induction, you're going to start experiencing contractions that are very close to each other a lot earlier in the game than you would with an unmedicated birth. But in a natural scenario, these intense surges come and more important, they go away and they don't last forever. So I stands for intermittent. Last letter of mnemonic is N, which stands for normal. Most commonly when we experience pain, we associate it with something being wrong or bad, but during labor, discomfort and even pain to a certain extent is normal. Those intense sensations that you're experiencing just means that your body is working hard to get your baby out. Now, I do want to be clear on something here, that during birth, suffering is not normal. Suffering is not an emotion or sensation that I or anyone wants you to experience, especially during birth. Now, if you think about when you work out, maybe you're doing a yoga pose that really stretches and pulls at your muscles, or you're lifting a weight that really strains and tightens your muscles, or you're running that last little bit of your race and you feel your muscles stinging and burning. Those are all signs of your muscles working hard and doing what they're supposed to do. And just like those muscles, your uterus is a very strong muscle. And during labor, it is working so hard to get your baby down and out. So it makes sense that it's going to cause some discomfort. That is normal. Just like when you're working out and your muscles get fatigued and strained a little bit, that's normal. It's not something that you need to be afraid of or run away from because it's your body doing exactly what it was built for. On the flip side, if you've tried breathing and moving and showering and all the ins and outs to help you cope with labor and nothing is helping to help you relax or work with your surges and you feel like you're emotionally and physically suffering, that is not the norm. And that's when it's time to make some decisions as you move forward that are really going to help you experience a birth that you have positive memories of. At the end of it all, mama, you don't want to look back and think of your birth experience as something that you suffered through, but something that you loved experiencing. But most of the time, because your labor pain is purposeful, it's anticipated, and it's intermittent, you're going to be able to find ways to cope using breathing or moving, making noises, visualization, all that good stuff. And you're going to find safety in the fact that birth pain is a normal and essential part of labor. And all of those things are going to allow your body to work the way that it needs to, to respond to your environment and to your body effectively. So N stands for normal. So mama, do you believe me now when I say pain can be good or even beneficial for you and your baby during labor? Remember that the sensations felt during labor are purposeful, anticipated, intermittent, and normal. Because when you do, you'll be so much more prepared to welcome those escalating surges that are helping you turn into the needs of your body and your baby as you work beautifully and powerfully to bring your baby from womb to world. And as you're preparing for your birth experience, remember that knowledge is power and it can truly help bring calm and assurance into your birth space. I had a mama reach out to me a few months ago and I'm so excited to share her story with you. So this is from Maya and she messaged me and said that she grew up with the notion that birth was horrific and dangerous and that kept her from wanting to get pregnant for many years. Eventually, Maya and her husband decided to start their own family but when the pregnancy test came back positive, Maya was terrified of what it would mean, birth. But she didn't let her fear stand in the way of her positive birth experience. So she started educating herself, first with YouTube videos like this one that empowers mamas through education and encouragement. She even joined a maternity support group and hired her very own doula. At every stage of her pregnancy, Maya has been preparing herself to embrace birth for the beautiful, challenging, transformative experience that it will be. Mamas, I hope you are encouraged by Maya's story. If you're feeling fearful, don't let that stand in the way of loving your birth. 
Just by watching this video, I know you're on the right path to lead you to your incredible birth experience. Maya, thank you so much for sharing your story with me and with all of these mamas. And mamas, share your stories in this community. It's what we're here for. So thanks for being with me in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.